The Invitrogen Prime Flow RNA assay is the first endpoint assay to enable simultaneous detection of RNA and protein within millions of cells with single cell resolution. This novel assay uses in situ hybridization and branch DNA signal amplification to enable fluorescent detection of up to four RNA transcripts at the same time using a standard flow cytometer. The target RNA transcripts are messenger RNA, long non-coding RNA, and microRNA. The assay is compatible with cell surface and intracellular antibody staining. The assay begins with a single cell suspension. The cells are stained for cell surface markers using antibodies and viability using a fixable viability dye. Next, the cells are fixed and permeabilized. Now the cells may be stained with antibody, directed to intracellular targets such as transcription factors and cytokines. An additional fixation step after intracellular antibody staining is performed to cross-link the newly added antibodies to their targets before proceeding to the hybridization steps. The cells are now ready to undergo in situ hybridization for the RNA targets of interest. A typical target, such as a messenger RNA-specific probe set, contains 20 oligonucleotide pairs that hybridize to specific sequences within the target RNA sequence. Signal amplification can only occur when each half of a given oligonucleotide pair binds next to each other on the target RNA. After target probe hybridization, signal amplification is achieved through sequential hybridization of branched DNA molecules to form a tree-like structure. Preamplifier molecule, the trunk of the tree, hybridizes to a pair of oligonucleotide probes that act as the tree's roots. Then, multiple amplifier molecules hybridize to a preamplifier molecule to form the tree's branches. Finally, multiple labeled probe oligonucleotides, acting as the tree's leaves and conjugated to a fluorescent dye, hybridize to an amplifier molecule. A fully assembled signal amplification tree has 400 label probe binding sites. When all 20 pairs of the target-specific oligonucleotides in the probe set bind to the target RNA transcript, amplification of up to 8,000-fold can be achieved. Currently, up to four unique fluorochrome-labeled amplification tree structures are possible, allowing simultaneous measurement of up to four different RNA targets. Once cells have been processed through the entire prime flow RNA assay protocol, the data are collected and analyzed on a flow cytometer to capture the fluorescent signals. Coupling the fluorescent detection of RNA and protein in the same cells on a flow cytometer generates multi-parametric data in heterogeneous cell populations and enables in-depth analysis at the single cell level. While microarrays and sequencing can provide comprehensive gene expression data in bulk sample preparations, such bulk sample preparations can mask the contribution of subsets of cells or bimodal cellular behaviors. Using the prime flow RNA assay, specific cell populations may be analyzed and new subpopulations revealed based on expression patterns, providing a clearer picture of transcriptional dynamics within a population of cells. Such unique and valuable insights will provide answers to previously unanswerable questions in studies concerning cellular immune responses or cancer therapies. For more information about the Prime Flow RNA assay, visit us online today.